Welcome YouTube, Sweet Vidalia with another Movie Review Monday! I don't know, I did it again. I'm not in front of the corn, it's true. I'm in my art drawing craft mess room. Wanna see? Here you go. Quick panorama. Motion sickness happening. Oh, my hand is in the way. Oh, did you get to see? My hand was in the way. Did you get motion sickness? Let's take a minute. It's going to be okay. You good? Whew. So anyway, it's windy outside. It's September and where I live... It's windy, and I knew this day would come. I knew, I knew that I wouldn't be able to film in front of the corn for too much longer because of wind, of coldness, of wind. So anyway, I don't really know where I'm going to film from now on. I might still be able to get a couple more days outside in front of the corn. We'll see. Not every day is windy, but a good between like September and May, June-ish. <clears throat> it's really, really, really windy. So much so that I don't think you'd be able to hear anything I have to say, but that's okay because it's really not worth listening to anyway. Ugh. Anyway, regardless of whether or not what I have to say is important, I'm going to continue because it's Monday. Half the day is gone and I haven't posted a movie review yet. Because, quite frankly, I haven't really seen movies lately, which is not like me. I've been going to bed and sleeping. I know. Sadly, it's true. So anyway, <clears throat> the movie I'm going to review for you today, it's kind of like I wasn't even going to do it. In fact, I did one like three weeks ago when I originally watched the movie. Uh, and I just was thinking, this is foolish. It's the movie, the... Um, blah, 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 blah. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, and it's a cult classic. Apparently, everybody who's anybody who wanted to see the movie has seen it. it came out in 2004. It's 2012 now, so I'm a late bloomer, I guess. Something. Anyway, um, so I did watch The Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I did a review on it, and then I deleted it because I, I had, like, three movie reviews for that day already. And I thought everybody who wants to watch it has already seen it. But I just recently watched it. Sorry about that. <clears throat> anyway, nose is dripping. Dripping nose. Tissue, please. Okay, so I just saw it three weeks ago. I'm going to review it because I don't have anything else to review for you. That's not true. I've seen a few movies between now and then. However, I do this thing where I play on my phone while I watch the beginning of movies. And sometimes I miss them, but not this one. This one I actually sat down and watched. Ah, excuse me. Okay, so the movie was... Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. It came out in 2004. It was one hour and 47 minutes long. It starred Jim Carrey. And I just want to say I'm not a Jim Carrey fan. However, I liked him in The Truman Show. I liked him in... Um, what was that movie? No, that wasn't him. I guess I don't like him when he he's funny. When he's supposed to be funny. I'm not a fan. I like him in dramas. So Jim Carrey was in this with Kate Winslet. They, that's all Netflix lists, however. <clears throat> that guy who played Frodo, Elijah Wood. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I remember that. He was in this movie. Mark Ruffalo was in this movie. Um, Kirsten Dunst was in this movie. Oh my gosh. And I'm generally usually really bad at names of people in general. Not even like famous people. Just everyday commoners. Please don't expect me to remember your name. Um, anyway, lots of actors and actresses that I noticed from other movies. And the director was Michael Gondry. I don't know him either. Okay, so the basic premise of the movie is um, 
You got a memory that you don't want to remember, you can have it erased. Go to this specific doctor and <clears throat> he gives you a pill. You also have to bring like every single thing about that memory that you can physically bring in. Like rip out your, rip out your journal entries, any souvenirs, anything that's going to tie or trigger your memory to remember anything about this person. They give you a pill, you go to bed, wait, you take the pill, then you go to bed and you fall asleep. <clears throat> Excuse me, people come into your house, they put this thing on your head, they hook it to a computer and they delete the memory. You wake up and you have no recollection of that memory that you didn't want to remember. So that is the basic premise of the movie. However, there's like a love story between Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet and they're on a boat and the boat's sinking. Oh wait. There's this love story between Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet and she is very different than his personality and you're like, what? But however it works, works for them. Um, they both go through this process and then the whole entire time you're, you're kind of wondering, is this like a good idea? Is it ethical? Is it ethical? Gosh, I could go on forever on all of the things about this movie that I was thinking about. I want to talk to people about it who's seen this movie. Probably everybody who's seen this movie talked about these things. And, and I spit. I'm off today. No, I spit every day. That's, that's not true. I spit every day. Um, my husband watched the movie with me and we talked about it for a little bit, but it's still really in my head. And so, oh, my big complaint about this movie, however, and I wanted to turn it off, but I my flesh wanted to see the movie because I wanted to know about this cult classic that everybody's seen from 2004. They took the name of the Lord in vain a lot, which I generally turn the movie off. I hate that! Here's a question for you. Why don't they ever curse your quotes? Sorry, I'm trying to stay out of the window. When people curse and they say like, oh my gosh, only not the sh, the d, or if they say J-E-S-U-S, -S. you know what I'm talking about, and they don't say it like in a thankful, praiseworthy, awe kind of way, why, why not anyone else's God? Why not be all like, oh, Hare Krishna, or, oh, Buddha, or, you know, whatever. I don't know the other God's names. It's always my God. And generally speaking, when people do stuff like that, they don't even know my God. So a little bit of Rant Rant Wednesday here on the Movie Review Monday because that's the kind of day I'm having. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, um, way back to the movie. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so that's why I wanted to turn the movie off, but I really, a really big part of me really wanted to see the movie, so I kept watching it. But that really grated on the nerves. Could not stand it. Almost turned the movie off. Probably should have. But it was, other than that, it was a great movie. I would probably still watch it again, unfortunately. And if you've watched it and you want to talk about it with me, let's talk about it in the comments down below. Um... Try not to spoil it for those who haven't seen it already. I, this movie was crazy. I liked it a lot, except for that swearing the name of the Lord in vain kind of thing. Excuse me, burped. I am a class act today. Uh, anyway, I'm still waking up from a narcoleptic nap I had like 20 minutes ago, so... This size glass, see it? It was full of iced coffee just a little while ago. I'm, tr I'm, I'm washing my iced coffee down with water and I'm still not quite awake. This is turning more into a rant rant Wednesday and it is not Wednesday, it's Monday. So I'm going to end it now. I enjoyed the eternal sunshine of the spotless mind. I'm guessing it's rated R. I don't have it written on my paper here. Do you see it? Anywhere see the blue crayon? See it? Oh, and this is just a little bit of... Don't look at that. I mean this here. No. It's not there. I don't have the rating, but um, I'm sure it's rated R because of the language and there is like a not seen love scene, but it's pretty much like Kirsten Dunst and Mark Ruffalo are dancing in their underwear. And then the next time you see them, they're like in a chair covered with a quilt. I don't think there's anything that you can see anyway, but no, you can't see anything, but you can kind of tell some hanky panky went down when you were at a different point in the movie. So thankfully, 
that was done tastefully, I guess. So, but yeah, I still think it was probably rated R, I'm pretty sure. And I think it might have been an independent drama, perhaps. I feel like this is a way close up, close up. <sighs> All my knit knacks. Knit knack patty whack. I gotta call this off. Okay, thanks for watching. Let me know if you've seen the movie you probably already have. If you wanna discuss, let's discuss. Hopefully next week I'll be better prepared. It doesn't really matter anyway because ain't nobody watching. And I'm actually okay with that. Like showing up. I like showing up even though nobody else is because I don't know. I don't know why I like doing this. I don't know. I'm still rambling. It's not a ramble, ramble, anything day. So I'm going to go now. Have a great day. I might have another iced coffee. I think I might just do that. Until next time.